everyone. Today I'm going to do a video on how to decorate a foyer, a place you love to enter and hate to leave. I'm going to be sharing seven tips to designing a foyer you love. So first, you're going to want to pick out a paint color that you really like, that makes you happy, that you like coming home to. The previous owner had like a reddish peach, like almost like a spongy pattern. So we sanded that all down and me and my husband painted this. This is Distant Star by Bear. And the second key piece is the light fixture. So this light fixture was changed by us. It was actually like one of those standard gold, like from the 80s light fixtures. So those two things will make a huge difference. All right, so this is my small foyer space. It's a nice size, not too big, not too small. So you can work with whatever space you have, whether it's half the size, triple the size. So tip number one was the paint. Tip number two is the light fixture. And tip number three is draw out some floor plans of your area. Draw out what you want, um, decor pieces, furniture pieces, all of that. That way, when you do go shopping for your foyer, you're not overwhelmed by everything in the store and you'll kind of focus on what you drew. So we're still on tip number three, the floor plan. So a big thing you want to do is measure, obviously, the dimensions of your place. This um, wall is 56 inches, this one is 78 and a half, and then this one was 56 and a fourth. So you want to take this guy with you everywhere. I mean like in your purse, and when you go to the stores, when you see a piece you like, like you want to me measure it and make sure. If you see a piece online, if you read, 70 inches and bring it to that area and make sure, you know, it works in that space. All right, so the fourth tip I have for you guys is pops of color. You want to use at least one to two pops of color in a space like this if it's larger, um, two to three. And I went with yellow, which you're going to see in a little bit, um, because it was my grandpa's favorite color, so it means a lot to me. So when you're grouping things like on a shelf, you want to make sure you're grouping in odd numbers. One, three, five. For some reason, it's more pleasing for the eyes. So obviously, we want the space to be cozy and functional. And what I mean is like wood is cozy, but the hooks are functional for every day. They can also be used for decor. Um, I actually got a bench, which you're going to see, and it is functional because you can put on your shoes. My little four-year-old can put on his shoes, and there's also extra storage, so also functional. Um, baskets are very functional in foyers to, you know, throw socks and stuff. Dressers, um, mirrors, all these type of things. And the last and seventh tip is you want to use statement pieces. So not too many knick-knack and clutters, um, but bigger pieces that make a bigger statement and cost less clutter and give you a more clean look and it's less to clean up. All right, so this is the finished foyer right over here. And as I said, I went with yellow for my pops of colors. Um, little decor pieces are grouped in odd numbers, three and three. Everything is measured and centered. My husband helped me with that. Um, we got um, this guy online, so we measured it, make sure it would fit nicely in here. And the bigger statement pieces on either side. And I was saying functional. Look at all of this junk in there. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to tell you guys where everything's from. That way, if you really like it, you can buy it. And I'll link everything down below as well. So this big boss right here is from Marshalls. And these little yellow flowers are from AC Moore. This pillow is from Hobby Lobby. This bench is on Wayfair. And... I love it. It shipped in like two or three days. The wreath is from Hobby Lobby. 
I was actually going to make my own shelf and hooks, but when I saw this one at Hobby Lobby and has a chalkboard, I don't know, I just felt like it was the right one. Um, little decor here, rustic, metal, farmhouse from Hobby Lobby. This guy was so cheap at Ikea, like a dollar or something close to a dollar. Ikea. This little Count Your Blessings is from Hobby Lobby. Yellow Mirror is from Hobby Lobby. All of this is from Hobby Lobby right here, grouped in threes. And that sign up there as well. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. This is from Hobby Lobby. My husband actually picked this out. Everything else I picked out in the foyer. And we had this gold mirror and I couldn't stand the color. So I distrusted it myself. And I don't really love it here, but it's functional. You can check yourself before you're leaving. So tell me in the comments below, do you think this should stay or go? And the light fixture is from Wayfair and the Edison light bulb is from Home Depot. These seven tips helped you so you can create a foyer that you love to enter and hate to leave. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.